Welcome to Fitness Forever TV with M and B. Your source for entertainment television. Hey, are you looking for a way to jump up that cardiovascular fitness, maybe increase your hand-body coordination, and have a ton of fun? Well, jumping rope might just be the thing you're looking for. As a matter of fact, I know it is. And Melissa is about to take you through a great intro course. But first, the intro. Jumping rope is an amazingly effective exercise. Back when I started martial arts in 2002, I started jumping rope every day for 20 minutes and I was in probably the best cardio shape of my life. I'm gonna show you today exactly what you need to do to get started on jumping rope so you can improve your cardio by leaps and bounds. All right, let's review the basic form for jump roping. Now, the basic form for jump roping is that we might want to stand nice and tall. Our form is never going to be here. So just like I encourage everyone, good posture is essential. Also, when we jump, we're jumping really soft. We're not jumping high and hard. The jump should be just enough to clear the floor. Also, another really important part about jumping rope is that the elbows stay in and you're flicking through with the wrist. Another key point with jump roping is that we keep the chin up and that we keep the gaze at one specific focal point. Those little tips will help you get started with the basic form for jumping rope. All right guys, now that we've reviewed the basic form of jumping, I'm now gonna show you how to get started. Initially, to get started with learning how to jump rope, lose the rope, all right? I want you to focus on just jumping softly with both feet. Also, go ahead and practice the form by keeping your elbows in and turning at the wrists. You might feel kind of ridiculous doing it, but we have to learn the movement pattern. Once your body understands that and you get your rope in hands, it'll be a lot easier to tra transition into that proper form. Now. Once you've get a, become accustomed to jumping soft, keeping your elbows in, spinning at the wrists, all I want you to do is take the rope in one hand and start practicing the timing. So we're gonna keep the elbow in, we're spinning at the wrist, and once I start to see the rope come around, I'm gonna start practicing my jumps. Now, this might seem like it won't translate, but however, by practicing the small jumps, with the rope in your hand, in a single hand, you'll get the rhythm down in no time. From there, you'll transition into jumping with the rope in both hands. Another key thing when you're practicing is you may want to use a mirror. Seeing your form will always be helpful. Like I've said in the past, when I was doing martial arts and shadow boxing, if you're looking at the mirror and it looks weird, it is weird. <laughs> So, same thing with jumping rope. If it looks off, it is off. So, and also with the mirror, you can have that focal point right at your feet so that way you can see the rope coming over. So once you get the single handle thing down, go ahead and transition to the rope in both hands. <laughs> now, this is called a pogo hop, which is initially how you will start jumping rope. Once you get the pogo hop down, you'll have to learn how to tr transition into footwork that's more energy efficient. But notice, I'm keeping the hop small. My elbows are in. I'm turning at the wrist. My posture is tall. And I'm smiling. Smiling makes all the difference. And that, my friend, is how you get started on practicing jumping rope. This is how you should format your workouts for jumping rope. Now, you wanna shoot for 30 minutes. No, I'm kidding. Initially, when you're starting to jump rope, I would shoot for reps. Now, maybe your rep range will be 100 jumps. It might not be consecutive, 
but it will give you a goal, a quantifiable goal to reach. Now, if you can hit that 100 jumps, I would say now go for time. Perhaps jump rope for 30 seconds, take a 30 second break, and then resume. Now, depending on your level of fitness, you may need to take a little more time to rest or maybe shorten your work time and take a longer rest. However it is, I would shoot for a total time initially of maybe 10 minutes broken up into whatever intervals you can do. Now, another good thing that you could do to help you keep your cadence while you're jumping rope is to listen to music. There are actually some really good apps out there um, such as Fit Radio that will give you the beats per minute per song so that way you can keep your rhythm. It could be anywhere from 120 beats per minute to 190 beats per minute. But find a cadence that works for you. There isn't an incorrect one, there isn't one that is specifically one that you should target for, but you want to keep in mind that once you get in the rhythm of jumping rope, once you get there, focus on maybe speeding it up and then slowing it back down. That way you're now integrating intervals into your steady state cardio. But from there, take all those tips that we've talked about today, grab a rope and get to jumping. All right guys, here are some common mistakes to avoid or try not to do when you're learning how to jump rope. Remember, it's really important to create good habits in the beginning and practice those techniques properly versus getting through jumping rope with bad technique because bad technique will only be ingrained in you if you keep doing it and doing it. So we want to make sure that we start off with good technique even though it might be more challenging for you that way, but in the long run, it'll be more beneficial. So here are some common mistakes that I find people doing when they're jumping rope. The arms are out wide. You know, we want to bring the elbows in, you know, back to proper form. Elbows in, spinning at the wrist. Another mistake that I see people doing, and I know this is a really challenging thing um, to avoid, is doing a double jump, just kind of like when you were in grade school, um, doing the single rope with two friends. The double jump goes like this, and I'm not even sure if I can even do it, but it's like, that's the double jump. We want to avoid that. We want to make sure that we can um, find a tempo where we're doing just single unders. So that may mean speeding up the rope or speeding up your jumps. But we want to avoid doing the double jump because once we start doing the double jump as our way to jump rope, it's really hard to get out of that habit. So make sure that you also have a good quality rope because that will make all the difference in the world. So make sure you get a good rope, you keep your elbows in, you don't do the double jump, and you just got to stick with it. Brad, great job. That looks amazing. Oh, I had a good teacher. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So if you liked the video, make sure that you go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit, hit a comment. But Melissa's got a special message for you. Yes, I do. Now, in a couple weeks, we're going to be putting together a workout along jump rope video. So practice the skill sets that I've taught you today. Give yourself a couple weeks of consistent jumping and practicing, and then work out along with us in our next jump rope video. Definitely. And remember those last few tips that she gave you about starting with maybe some reps and then moving your time up and then going then doing those intervals to the point where you can get to be four or five minutes at a time. So when that workout comes in, you're going to be rocking and rolling. Or jumping. But <laughs> until fun. next time, stay, stay motivated. motivated.